Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Days Kitchen. So, here's a problem I've got. As you can see in the previous videos, my smoke likes to stay within the backyard because in California, our backyards are so close to each other. So I've got a problem. I've got two neighbors that can't handle the smoke. So to be a nice neighbor, I have to engineer a smoke system, okay? So here's what I end up doing because there's no discussion anywhere on any of the forms whatsoever. This here is basically three sections of this vent pipe. So what I've got is a six inch that reduces to a four inch, okay? Then this is a seven inch to a six inch, or, or yeah, to, to a six inch, and a six inch back to a four inch. I ended up epoxying that inside so this stays Okay, still. so this here, the original chimney stack is still attached to the Traeger. What happens now is this slides over and comes back down and it's going to rest there. Now, my project I'm going to do step by step is to show you how to finish this, the chimney, and get it all the way up to the top of the roof. So what I ended up doing is this. Okay, so guys, this is some four foot double wall insulated chimney pipe. I spray painted it to get as close as possible to match the color of the house. I've got about 20 feet of sections of this that I'm gonna assemble along the wall here and mount it to the side of, of the existing chimney in hopes that eventually most of the smoke from the Traeger will be vented out to the top of the roof and away from my neighbor's yards. The first thing I had to do is figure out approximately what height I needed to mount the first part of the chimney. So what I did is I took this pole here, stood it up, which so happened to be almost the exact height of what I needed to kind of create a vertical uh, incline so that the smoke will rise. I mounted the first bracket to the wall using some uh, stucco screws. Next, I'm going to install the chimney pipe into that and move on to the next so step. So far, this is what it looks like going up to the top of the roof. Now, we're going to try to install the final piece. Now, if you notice, I put a cap on this one and I spray painted it to match. So we're hoping that this will resolve the issue. So, what does the finalized product look like? Well, there it goes all the way up to the eaves. And it clears just the eave just a little bit. So hopefully the breeze will catch that and keep a lot of the smoke out of the backyard. So guys, what's the end result? Well, I ended up putting a little bit of Nomax here on the barbecue lid. So that kind of sealed the barbecue itself. I've also got a little bit of smoke coming out here of the vent cap, I'll put a little bit of aluminum foil in that and I'll seal it up. But here's the end result. It goes all the way up and all the way up to the roof. And what you don't see is all the smoke that's up at the roof level. And trust me, it is coming out like crazy at the top. But this is the end result of how to vent a Traeger to the roof to prevent the smoke from annoying the neighbors. Well, thanks for watching.